Good morning. Today is going to be episode three, which is day three or technically day four of the solar improvement project. So day one was basically pulling these panels up and rewiring them in a 12S and also installing the rapid shutdown modules. Day two slash three was moving the sun gold power panels over here to the east facing roof so I can charge sooner. For day three slash four, we're gonna grab the other Santan solar panels that I have basically underneath my patio underneath there. Also during the reinstallation, we need to hook up our rapid shutdown modules on these panels as well okay and of course we need to do a really good job at wire management because the panels over here had a whole bunch of leaves and stuff you know sticks all sorts of stuff underneath there but again my first time installing these panels up here i didn't do a very good job at wire management we're going to try to do a really good job at wire management up here even though this area doesn't get near as many leaves from all of these trees up here i still have my temporary wiring right here because i'm waiting on my little junction box and then once we get that then we'll do a proper wiring and conduit job at least an average joe you know conduit job okay all right so today i don't know how far we're actually going to get because it's supposed to be over 100 degrees you know just the regular temperature and it's real muggy out right now so the real feel is going to be it's going to be a lot higher so we might only be able to do this for a couple hours before it gets too hot all righty well let's get started all right down here in my solar panel storage area aka my patio I've got all the solar panels. The first two I'm gonna bring up are the ones that I painted. I think I'm gonna put those on the top row, right in the middle. And the other one is still sitting right over there. So it's been sitting there for about four days. And then the rest, uh, not all of these. Some of these are Jinkos, which I'll put in a different spot. I need to grab or find the other Santan solar panels. It might actually be those three. And then the other ones are sitting right over here. Alrighty, let's get to it. Alrighty, we have a slight miscalculation. We have a slight miscalculation on my part. So whenever I ordered my Santan solar panels, I don't remember how many years ago, I ordered enough so I could have two 12 panel arrays up there. And whenever I ordered them, the very, very bottom panel was cracked. I kind of forgot about that panel being cracked and I was counting that in my spare solar panels. I'm actually down one panel so i could technically do 11 s up there or two 11 s's up there but i don't know if i want to do that i still have 12 actually 13 of these jinko panels but these are 270 watts and my santan solar panels are 240 245 so my original plan of putting all 24 panels up there on the south facing roof on one array two 12 panel arrays wired in parallel is not going to work unless i get another panel from jimmy which could take a couple of days and i don't i just don't think i'm going to wait right now because i want to get this going as as fast as i can so new plan for right now is we're going to put the jinko panels up there on the upper part and we'll just have three separate arrays and then my ground mount that's right over here which is on pv input three i believe we will remove that one and put that one on like a separate charge controller for now i guess okay so now i gotta bring that other solar panel back down and start bringing up the jinko panels here we go okie dokie oh yeah these ones feel much lighter not All right, I brought six up here. We'll start with that. And I don't know how much further we're gonna get because it is already really, really hot. All right, we're gonna start on this side first since it's in the sun. We'll get our rapid transmitter shut down on this panel right here, and then we'll wire it to this one, and then we'll just work our way down this row.
boom, there we go. We got the first six panels installed, except for the ends down here. I, I'll do those in just a little bit. I think what I'm gonna start doing next is bringing up the next panels. Alrighty, I had to take a little bit of a break so I could go inside and cool off and eat something. And now it's definitely 100 degrees out, but I think I'm going to attempt to get all these wired up temporarily again right there. What I got to do is run some PV wire from basically those two panels up here and these two panels right here over to my temporary wiring right here. And then I'm going to run some 10 AWG into the garage to the small combiner box so we can hook this up to the inverter. And then I'll bolt them all down, of course. Alrighty, it is the very next day. It was just way too hot out here for me to, yeah, sorry about all the time lapses. It's just way too hot out here to go slow and try to explain everything. Even though we pretty much explained everything for this array right here and that array up there. I mean, there really wasn't anything different when adding these panels right here. So there we go. We got our third array finally installed. Uh, of course, not everything is 100% complete yet because I still have my temporary wiring right there. And looky, looky what we got yesterday or last night. We got my little easy solar roof mount box thingy right here. So yeah, that will be obviously coming up in another video. This is basically what I've been waiting on so I can complete my wiring right here. Ooh, is that gonna fit? Yeah, that's gonna fit. Okay, so anyway. Uh, this box right here uh, is going to go in this position right here, and it's going to be partially, and I got my wires and stuff in the way, it's going to basically be partially underneath the panels, probably similar to that. Uh, I'll have to look at the instructions again, but I think you have to cut out, you know, a portion of your shingles right up here, and then this kind of slips underneath it. So wherever that lines up in relation to my penetration right here, then that's basically where it's gonna go. And I got the thicker box, so I can use you know these dinkle connections right here. So that'll be my switch from PB wire to the THHN wire inside of this box. So yeah, we are going to put this down another day and not a lot's going to happen today because they are predicting some pretty big storms later on so i do need to do one last kind of janky fix for this solar panel install at least until we get that easy solar box in is i need to cover up my my wires right here because that can't be sitting out here you know while it's raining and stuff i guess it probably could and be fine but I don't want any water to go down into that box there since, you know, this is kind of, like I said, this part is temporary. I just have all my wires going in right there. Uh, if it's gonna be raining later on, I don't want any, any rain to get in there. So I'm just gonna use this old pot uh, until I get the easy solar box installed. I know that's a little janky, but that's what I have to do right now. I think if I tried to install that right now, I don't know if the sealant would be dry in time for the storms that may or may not happen later on. But anyway, there we go. We got all three arrays finally reconfigured on the roof. Now, if you missed it or if I didn't explain it correctly in one of the last couple of videos, 
the Lux Power inverter has three PV inputs, all right? So the original plan was to put all 24 Santan solar panels back up here and put all 24 on one PV input. So we'll just say PV1, all right? And then the Sun Gold power panels would be on PV input two. And then depending on if I add more solar panels, you know, up here or somewhere, that will be later on, of course. But then finally, PV array three will be the ground mount right over here. That one right now is connected to the EP cube, so we're not too worried about that one right now. So anyway, that would be PV array three. That's what the original plan was, but since I miscalculated or miscounted, I forgot I had a broken solar panel. I had to put the Jinko panels up here, unless I can get another panel from Jimmy, and then I can complete you know, all 24 Santan solar panels up here. But we'll see about that here shortly. I can't remember what all the rules are, you know, what messes up panels and stuff, but if I parallel those with these, these ones might actually end up cooking themselves or getting too hot because those are putting excess power into those. Or that could be whenever you kind of mix and match different series panels. I actually don't remember. I would have to look that up unless, you know, you guys remember and want to go ahead and throw those in the comments for me so I don't have to do a whole bunch of research. That would be great. Alrighty. Anyway, I'm going to start wrapping up this because it's going to start storming later on. I just need to make sure everything is kind of buttoned up so nothing goes flying away, which it is as far as I can tell. Uh, one of the other things I do need to do up here, of course, is my grounding. So previously what I did is I took a solid six AWG uh, copper wire. I mounted it to the rails, basically every single rail, and it's one continuous piece that goes all the way around the array, all right? And then also down here, I've got the little bonding lugs. This is what I did previously. You know, and it goes all the way around and it's attached to every single panel. I did the same up there previously with the old Santan panels. However, since I've been redoing all of this, I don't have, I don't have any of them grounded or bonded right now. Same for these right up here. I actually ordered some little like bonding straps or whatever from Signature Solar and those are on the way. I'm going to try those out so I don't have to have a big loop of copper wire you know, going around to every single panel. We also need to do that when those show up. So yeah, there we go. What do you guys think of my solar improvement project so far? So that's gonna conclude video three of the solar improvement project. Let me know what your comments are down in the comments section. Alrighty, so there you go. That's gonna conclude video three for the solar improvement project project. Uh, if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, of course, put those down in the comment section. Uh, don't forget to like that smash button on your way out, and I will see you in video four whenever we start doing the wiring and stuff, you know, the actual, actual wiring. Uh, one thing I still haven't figured out, though, is how I'm going to mount um, some conduit from these panels over here over to there because since this is a railless system over here, um, not sure how I'm going to attach the conduit over there quite yet. Later that same evening. What do you say, Beyonce? Is it gonna storm? Don't care. grid is gone <laughs> we're having a pretty big storm right now the next day oh damn i can't even go that way that's the way i wanted to go well here's more here i gotta find another route there's trees down literally everywhere there's a power line down right there just tried turning around look at all that power lines trees everything we found a way through. Look at that. Another one. Holy. Hi, John. 
Oh wow. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Ooh, wow. You are not kidding. Alright. Right oh, it came from right there. Nice. That's a big one. Yep. Yeah, I'm gonna have to bring some solar panels over. <laughs> um, plan was to put all 24. Holy shit. Are you freaking kidding me? That's why it takes so long to do videos up here.